Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name's Kugan, and we're gonna get started with going over the ultimate guide for Revenant, the new Apex Legend. So first, we're gonna begin by going over his abilities, and we're gonna go over his weaknesses and strengths, and also over the things that complement him and the things that don't so complement him. All right. So let's begin. First, we're gonna begin with his tactical. It's called Silence. He throws a device that deals damage and disables enemies' abilities for 10 seconds. This grenade ability also does 10 to 11 damage when it first hits your enemies. If you want to counter this ability, you want to use Watson's Ultimate Interception Pylon, or Gibraltar's Dome Shield, or even Lifeline's Medic Shield. Now we're going to go over his passive. His passive is called Stalker. Stalker, you can crouch walk, you can crouch walk faster and can climb walls higher. He can climb about one third higher than your normal character. With this passive, you'll be able to climb into areas you have never been able to before. Also, he looks like <laughs> he looks like Spider-Man when climbing. Now we're going to go over his hidden ability. So basically, hidden ability is like uh, it's like a uh, Wraith. Wraith also has a hidden ability or even Pathfinder. They take extra damage due to the fact that they have such small hitboxes or smaller hitboxes hit than your average character. So his hidden ability is low profile just like Pathfinder and Wraith. And since he has, he's more difficult to hit than most characters, the damage he takes is 5% more. Here is an example. Now his ultimate is called Death Totem. And basically how it works is you drop a totem that protects users from death. Instead of getting killed or down, you will return to the totem. If your death protection timer runs out, you will leave death mode and you will not teleport back to the totem, but continue from where you are. In death protection mode, you will only take health damage and not shield damage. If you take 100 damage to your health, if you take 100 damage, your health will drop to zero and you will respawn on the totem with your shield and 10 health points. You can only have one totem up at a time, and if you put up another totem before the other one disappears, you will automatically have the first one disappearing. Or have the first one disappear. When you do this, it will pull you, your allies, and enemies out of death protection if they have used the same totem and they will continue from where they are. Both enemies and allies can use your totem, but everyone can only go into death protection once per a totem. You have to remain within a certain distance of the totem to be able to stay in death phantom. If you go out of, the bound, out of bounds, it will pull you out of death protection and you will just continue from where you are. Also, this totem makes sound, this totem sound, makes sound like a howling wind that enemies can hear but also remember this totem can be destroyed so be careful where you place it one of the worst things about going into death protection is that you cannot use heals in that mode although if you have a lifeline on your team you can heal with her drone now we're going to go over his weaknesses the best way to counter revenant are with watson and Carlson. But preferably caustic because Watson's fences can easily be destroyed or misplaced. When using Watson, you want to make sure you don't place your fences too close to the totem because when the enemies reappear, they will be outside your fences instead of inside. Also, using three fences would be best, that way you don't leave too much room for the enemies. Also, one of the things I have noticed is that once you run into into pylon fences and death protection, you will no longer see the fences. Although if you pass through the area with fences, you will still be stunned and take damage as if though you were still there. 
the fences will reappear once you leave death protection or if an enemy passes through the fenced area. You can counter Revenant's silent grenade ability using Lifeline's revive shield or even Gibraltar stone. Here are some examples of what I just explained. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of bug, so if you guys know how to get in contact with Respawn, please let them know, you know? That way we can, they can, you know, make our game a little bit better. That way we don't have all these bugs. Now, Revenant's greatest weakness is Caustic. Caustic is very strong against Revenant because you can use his gas, which only does health damage to easily trap and kill the entire team. For example, if you know where the totem is, what you want to do is place your traps around the totem so that once they respawn, they get knocked immediately since they only respawn with 10 health. One tick of gas, and they're down. Now we're going to go over his strengths. Crypto's ultimate. Crypto's ultimate can be countered with Revenant's ultimate. By going into death protection, you will not take damage from Crypto's ultimate. You can also use You can also use it to teleport. For example, your teammate was your teammate was eliminated and you want to respawn him, but don't want to die defending your teammate. Another way to teleport is to set up the totem in the inside of the circle and then run into the circle and loot death boxes for your allies. You can either teleport back by dying to the storm or using throwables. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. This is something that was very enjoyable. It's something I'll be using in my rank games to make it to Pred this season. I just spent a lot of time in the training room and I was hoping I could help some of you out with this, some very detailed information. So don't forget to take some of this and use it in your games as you fight for the top. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. If you want more videos like this, leave a comment below. And that concludes this Ultimate Revenant Guide. Hit that like button if you like the video. Break it if you need to. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.